Hello YouTube, it's me Brittany and today I want to talk to you guys about my experience as a transgender parent and how I personally feel about Mother's Day and Father's Day. But before I do that, I want to thank all of you guys who have already subscribed. Thank you so much for being here. I love you so much. And if this is your first time watching, I do a very interactive channel where you can ask me questions. I do reply to the comments in the comment section all the time. So feel free to hit that subscribe so you can see more videos as well as watch this one. So let's get into today's topic. Um, I basically want to talk because all week people have been, you know, saying, hey, do you get celebrate Mother's Day? What's going on? I know you have a child. Um, it just so happens that Mother's Day was also my son's 14th birthday. So last week on Mother's Day, my son turned 14 and I spent the day with my mother in Missouri and he was in California and I'll get into that later. But anyways, um, I, I personally, um, don't mind if someone says Happy Mother's Day to me. I also personally don't feel I deserve and I don't really celebrate Mother's Day for myself. Like I don't seek out to be like celebrated. Um, I don't really relate to being a mother. Yes, I am a female and I'm a parent, but um, my experience, you know, as, you know, being a parent was as a father, even though I've tra been transitioned for six years now and, you know, m almost half of my son's life I've been a girl, but, like, I can't forget what, you know, what made me a father, and I'll get into that, but let me really get into details of why I don't feel I deserve, I mean, I don't say that, that's not really the right word, but I personally don't feel I deserve to be celebrated as a mother on Mother's Day because I didn't go through that birth process. And I know some of you are going to be like, but Brittany, that means lots of cis women can't go through the birthing process. And I'm like, I'm not unvalidating any mothers who feel like they are mothers. You know, I just personally don't feel like I meet what it is to be a mother. I mean, maybe if me and my boyfriend get married someday and we adopt a child, then I can feel like I can be a mother because I will be the mother to that child. However, the only child I have, I'm the father to. So, like, I, I think that there's a lot that comes with being a mother and part of it is just something that I personally don't feel I've earned. So, I mean, I'm not unvalidating because I don't think that you have to have a uterus to be a mother. Like, I don't think that any of those things, like, are even r real. Like... Anything can make you, you know, having a child and being a mother to that child, there's lots of things that can make that a reality to, to anyone. Personally, I don't feel like I've hit that reality. Do I think that can happen in the future? Yes, maybe no. Um, I'm a little old. I'm about to be 37, so do I need to be taking on another child? However, I would not be opposed that if I got married someday of adopting children, you know, of older age and raising them because it's so much more difficult for them to get a home. So, like, I would love to, like, adopt children that are, like, 8, 9, 10, 11 and really help them just grow as adults because, you know, generally by the time they get to that age in the adoption process, it's really hard for them to find homes. And so I'm, I'm not, and also I just, I'm scared of babies, <laughs> but like babies just, I feel like I'm going to break them. But, um, so, uh, uh, like I think it's a possibility, but I just don't feel like I've earned that yet. But I do feel like I'd get shunted a lot on Father's Day and people forget that I'm a father because I'm a woman. And I don't, personally get like hurt by this but part of me is like hey like I went through a lot of struggles that really mean and define me as a father especially in today's world you know my son was born I was not able to be there um for certain reasons um and then he wasn't really around for the first three and a half years I maybe spent maybe three to four weeks of his life with him total even though I made an it, consistent effort to really try to be a part of his life my relationship with his other mother um who i do refer to as the other mother but she is the only mother i'm really the other mother at this point um in public i have my son call me mom but in private he calls me dad that's just always the way i've felt comfortable i don't doesn't bother me in public it's for our sa own safety but um because of rocky relationships with the other mother, there were times where communication was very minimal. Probably because of both sides 
at certain times. Um, I'm guilty just as much as she's guilty. Um, so like, I'm not like putting any blame here. I'm just saying that I had paid child support through all this time. It wasn't really until my son was four and a half years old that he moved to Missouri, but he still wasn't living with me. He was living with my parents who would only allow me to visit him, which means I got a little bit more visitation, but I was working a lot. Like I had a, you know, overnight working job. So like my visitation was really difficult because there was only specific times for me to be there. Um, so like, but I did what I could until like, I could pay off my back child support and I could prove to everyone that I could be the parent and I got a house and I had a job, a couple, a couple of good jobs and you know, I had a car. These were all things that I had to have in order for me to be given custody of my son. And it wasn't until my son was around seven years old, you know, in second grade that I really started to get to be a parent where my son lived with me. I cooked me at dinner, I helped him with his homework, all those things, and, and and that's all what I've always wanted, like I've worked so hard for that, and then I got a really good job opportunity that sent me to a cruise ship, so it was kind of like a back and forth thing, and I made that choice, that was on me, um, but since then, he's made the choice to live with his his other mother at this point and I have really, even though I spent 10 to 12 years fighting really hard to try to make make myself a part of his life and 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 live live there and be there every day for him that is something i've learned by 12 you know within 12 years my son doesn't want so i've accepted that it was really hard it took me a full year probably if i still get upset about it i still love my son with everything however my journey is not the journey of a mother and it, and, and i just explained it to you so i feel really shunted sometimes when people don't realize that just because I'm trans that I'm not a father. Like I fathered a child. I went through the trials and tribulations of what it's like to be a child in today's society or to be a father to a child, an unwed locked child in today's society. Um, and I, I love my son with all my heart and I do everything I can to try to stay and be a part of his life. But I've accepted the fact that he doesn't really want me there. So, um, I mean, that's a sad thing that some trans parents are going to have to really deal with. Um, I understand that my son loves me. We still talk. Our communication is not nearly to the level that it used to be years ago, but we still talk. So I know that my son loves and cares about me. That's not the issue. I just understand that he doesn't really want to be living around me. And I've accepted that and I've gone on and moved on. And it's done great things for me to really kind of accept that because I've been able to really just go, okay, I don't really have to stress about something I'm never going to get. So, um... Yeah, that's really just like how I feel about it. I personally like do not mind when someone says happy Mother's Day, Mother's Day to me. I'm going to say thank you. I'm not going to point out the fact that I'm not a real mom and you know anything like that because I don't think that that's a reality in in question anyways to, for any person, for any mom out there. So, um but I, I when people don't recognize me as a father, I do kind of get shunted because like I went through the struggles of what it was like to be a father. Now, I know I've kind of rambled on about all of this and I kind of just really wanted to express how I felt about it. Um, but let me know how you feel because like there's a lot of other trans parents out there that maybe have gone through the same thing or maybe even more difficult things. I personally know another trans parent that has three children and she struggles on a weekly week to week basis the story could be different for her and so like I understand it can be very different for all of you guys so let me know what you guys feel how you guys have coped with transitioning and being a transgender parent at the same time some may have young children some children may have gone on and left the house by that time either way i still i'm still interested so let me know what you guys think um thanks for watching this video guys please don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already um Follow me on Twitter at, at Brittany Rose 2 Unfortunately, all of my shows are getting canceled, so I'm not going to be in San Jose this week. Um, I lost two gigs in June now, and hopefully I'm holding on to a, a gig in July. Um, I will let you guys all know, um, but bear with me. I love you guys so much. Um, bye, everybody.